Hey everybody, this is my video about Frontier Fios Internet. Um, that's the company that took over for Verizon down in Sarasota, Florida, and some of the Florida region in general. So, this is the box cover you'll get, and it'll be located in your utility room. Um, excuse the mess in here. That's the, uh, that's the fiber coming out um, from the street or the pole depending on what kind of residence you live in. And we're gonna open this up in a second so I can show you what you get. So this is what's inside the Frontier Terminal. This is your ONT. And this is what you get if you, um, if your area qualifies for the, uh, the gigabit ethernet. Um, I personally get the 500 over 500 speed. I think that's all you really need. Um, can't really see too good on the camera. Here's your lights, so you know everything's working okay. A little green wire, it's the fiber coming from the street, followed by your power adapter. Um, that right there is for the gigabit ethernet, so that's the ethernet wire. That's for your phone service, which we have and that's your mocha for the cable. So, just so nobody's confused, um, basically cable modems like from Xfinity and that, they just have the cable wire going to the modem. Well, the cable wire, you can only get up to 100 over 100 speed. If you want anything over 100, it's all ethernet now. So again, this is the terminal. And I know it's hard to see on camera what the lights represent. But you got your mocha for cable, pots, um, OMT, I know I'm having a hard time seeing it. Um, you got your lights for the phone and uh, Sorry, I can't give you a clear answer to what those lights say because they are kind of hard to see because they are a bright light, as you can see. They're kind of, you know, shining off the plastic there. But if uh, there's any information I can give you is if you want anything 100 over 100, you have to go with the brand new ONT. Um, I was confused at first because I had the old one. He goes, yeah, we could keep that in. It was an older Verizon one, but he says you can't get the 200 over 200 speed with that. So this is what you will need. And if I wanted to, I could get the uh, the gig internet, but I'm fine with 500 over 500. Um, I run a lot of my stuff wirelessly, and you're never going to achieve that anyways. Um, highest I get is like 375, 400. That's all you need. I can run multiple devices. It doesn't slow down. So that's a little tour of that for you. Okay, so now into the house. That's the utility room I was just in on the back porch. So they drilled through here and they made a nice box. Um, now that right there, that is for um, cable TV. That's for the cable to go into the modem, which we're gonna discuss shortly. Um, but I don't even need that cable. Um, this is Frontier's main uh, cable box. But like I said, you don't, you don't need that for uh, you know 200 over 200, 500 over 500, and the gig uh, internet. So that's why you have the power of the ethernet for that now. So I'm gonna go over here, and this is your Frontier router. So um, I know that Verizon is very similar on the ONT. Uh, they, however, are not similar on the modems. Uh, this is the modem you get with Frontier. Um, I personally think uh, Frontier's modem for Wi Fi is garbage. That's why I have this bad boy over here. I have a Linksys EA7500 
which I highly recommend. Um, I was having a problem getting a signal upstairs because I have a two-story house. Um, this is the back of your Frontier router. Now, I'm gonna tell you why that cable's there. The only reason that cable is there is because I have video service from Frontier. Otherwise, you don't need it. All you need is that ethernet um, and you don't even need their modem, to be honest. Um, as long as you have that ONT out there, you just tell them to switch the uh, Ethernet port on, which you can see I already have it on out there. Um, this one goes right in to my router. I hope you guys can understand that. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to put it in the comments. So, as you can see, at the top of it, I know it's dark and I'm sorry, you have a phone port. That is old Xfinity technology. Um, they wire that through the ONT and into the phone jacks in your home. So, um, basically I'll just, you know, I'll describe to you guys. I get good internet speed uh, to begin with, so I do not need uh, the gig plan. Um, I'm going to take you folks upstairs. I'm going to show you another reason why you need the coax cable onto the modem, and that's for Frontier's wireless cable converters. So, okay, folks, last but not least, this right here is the reason that you, uh, you need to run a Frontier modem. And uh, the Frontier modem, um, the, the, the wireless cable box can only pick up a signal of five gigahertz inside that modem. So if you have cable through them, you have to have it. So in closing, down here in Sarasota, Frontier in some areas gets a bad name. Um, I, however, really like them. I'm in an area where the wiring seems to be really good. Um, I wouldn't go with anything else because uh, Comcast can't match the upload speeds and uh, uh, you know, Comcast has a data cap. <laughs> I'm sorry to say Xfinity, but they have a data cap and they're real dirty about it because they never told the customers there was a data cap. It was a surprise. And when people went over the data that they used, they forgave it the first time and they charged them tons of money afterwards. Frontier's a company, along with Spectrum, that don't have data caps. And that's the kind of internet I want. I mean, you got to face it, you pay enough for internet already, why do you want any caps? So, uh, that's kind of like, you know, my introductory of what you get with Frontier. I like their service, their internet's good. Thanks for watching.